Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. Today's actually Monday, the 11th, April 11th, and it's been, it's been, I don't know, four, four or five days since I recorded the covers and pages video. That, that video is actually coming out today <laughs> while I'm recording this probably. Um, and uh, over the weekend and stuff, we did a lot of gardening and planted things and fertilized things and put compost on things and and I'm exhausted. Uh, look, I even one of my rose bushes got me got me pretty early in the uh, in the day. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm exhausted. I'm still drinking my coffee. I sound terrible. We we I'm discovering I'm a, I'm allergic to more things than I thought. Like for example, we have a gray owl evergreen bush and it's well we have two but one's in the backyard and it's giant it is giant to me it seems giant so we kind of did like the bonsai treatment to it you know we just kind of went in there and just chopped a bunch of stuff that's in the middle and I don't know so the branches when they when they rub on my skin it irritates my skin so bad I have to be so careful so I'm kind of glad we did that because um, it opened up the bottom of the landscaping and it, we put a bird bath under there um, we put I'll take a picture of it one day and show you <laughs> but we've got some like we've got like a giraffe like a really tall giraffe and we've got a uh, planter metal planter that looks like a zebra or is my granddaughter likes to call it a zebra. <laughs> and um, so anyway, it just looks really cute under there now that we've kind of cleared up that bottom of the of the blue owl. But yeah, it irritates my skin so bad. But but anyway, so we did a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of work over the weekend and I'm exhausted. And I did do my homework that I talked about in the covers and pages video. So I have cut up all of the ephemera uh, fussy cut the uh, butterflies from that one page i've got all my pockets ready i did print another page do i have it sitting here i ended up printing another one of these i wanted this pocket and it's this pocket right here. no it's not that pocket it's this pocket right here i wanted this pocket i needed two and i forgot about that you don't have to but that's just how i did my prototype so I printed off another one of these so all I did was I cut them out I inked them up I scored them and you know I mitered the tops and the parts that attach to each other and I've got them stuck together so all I got to do is go through the book and add things in so what else did I do so I've got all my pockets ready I got the envelope ready there's my let's see cut butterfly okay so then I've got some extra stuff and these are all listed down below they're all uh, linked down below this is I should probably have grabbed the book hold on oh nope that's not it is this it oh, here it is oh for crying out loud <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> okay um so this I printed an envelope. This is, uh, I think this might even be just real cheap copy paper. So I printed one of the taller envelopes from the printable envelopes and bags that I just released. So I've got one of those um, cut out, inked up. And then I've got the postcards from the printable postcards. I've got those print up, but I think we did that in the last video, actually. So anyway, I got that cut out. And what do we got over here? And then I had the stamp. Did I have the stamp cut out? I might have to get that out. The faux stamp. I'm trying to think. Also, also, there's a my Facebook group. There's a free printable. There's a free printable of a coffee stained envelope, and there's three sizes. Some glue on there uh, now and it's a freebie in my Facebook group but I also made it a Etsy listing so I'll have it linked down below 
if you're not part of my Facebook group or you don't want to be part of my Facebook group, I put um, my freebies in the Etsy so that you can purchase them if you want. But anyway, so the middle size, I've printed one of those, I printed a page off and cut one up and it's ready to go. It's right here. These, um, I've got these two, we'll talk about these two later because we might not get to that in this video. So yeah. I don't know what all we're going to be getting into in this video. I am so tired, you guys. I know. I, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just tired. All right, I'm going to actually move these out of the way because most of these are just insert type things. So that's an insert. And we're going to start with, oh, and I also started, like I took this, the, the two tags that are from Tanya's paper collection. I took this and prepped one already, so I double-sided it. I'm sorry, I folded it in half, glued it together, cut it out. But we're going to do that with this as well. But that, again, this is an, an insert type thing. So Tanya's paper collection, Paper Dream, is linked down below as well. I'm so sorry, you guys. I have just rambled on. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. The, the launch was very successful. The launch of the, uh, the um, special Little Sister Edition was very successful. And there was a snafu. I might as well just tell you again even though the last video i did was um i mean the video i did with the oh no the pdf is messed up it's on youtube already but the somehow the pdf got and not only that you guys the pdf got messed up right and it and it it was smaller so it, this is what the title sheet should look like and this is what it did look like so if you purchased your set before the 9th april 9th or even on April 9th, it really just depends on what time of day, because I caught it in the middle of the day. Someone luckily brought it to my attention. And um, if you if you purchased it before that, then you have the wrong, you have the PDF that looks like this. So contact me through your Etsy purchase and I will send you the PDF that looks like this. Okay, so anyway, but a lot of people are, are calling it the baby sister. So this is the little sister and then this little accident is the baby sister. So it's a little smaller, obviously. <laughs> But anyway, so that happened, right? So that was, that was something that, that was stressful for me because I was trying to stay on top of it. So many people had purchased it and thank you very much, by the way, so many, so many of you purchased it right away. And, um, so when I was, I was trying to keep up with, with every single, as quick as I could with every single, um, request. I was trying to answer it as fast as I could. So I was pretty much sitting at my computer all day on Saturday. So anyway, so that happened. And then the video, the covers and pages video that actually is getting posted today on the 11th, April 11th, I had edited it, edited it. <laughs> And I did all the stuff I was supposed to do. And then I was uploading it onto YouTube on Saturday. And I thought all was well. It, I, everything uploaded. Well, at least I thought it did. And so I closed out YouTube. I mean, it takes a long time. I don't know how many of you know about how uh, uploading videos to YouTube could be very time consuming. It's a, it's a long video, so it makes sense that it took a long time. But anyway i thought it was there and then yesterday which was sunday i went to do the description box and all of that stuff and it wasn't there i mean it was there but it was like it stopped at like 11 percent or something so then i went to my files because I, I deleted that off of youtube and then i was going to upload it again and the the they were gone the files were all gone the footage was all gone the <laughs> everything was gone it was gone. I don't know. I don't know what happened, but we did some search. I was stressed. I was, I was like, what else? You know, what else? I better knock on my, my head or something. What else can go wrong here with, the, with this, with this technology in general, right? So we finally found it um, in the trash. So I don't know if some sort of weird update happened. I don't know. 
something stupid happened. There was like a copy of it. There was uh, the original. There was another copy. They were all different formats. They all opened up in different ways. It was so very strange. It was so weird. It was just bizarre. So then, luckily, I still had the edited version. Not the rendered version, but the edited version still in my software that I edit um, videos. So I had to re-render it and all of that jazz. So fingers crossed today you will get a video today, meaning Monday. You'll get a video. And I've talked for 12 minutes and I'm so sorry. It's just been something. It's just been a heck of a weekend. So sorry about my allergies. Back to that. So sorry about my allergies. Back to that. That was the whole garden. Being out in the yard. Being out by the gray out. It irritates my skin. It, it, it gets my allergies on. I slept terrible last night. I was up all night. All right. I will quit. I will quit. Let's get to creating. Okay. <laughs> if I even leave any of that in. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to separate my pockets out because I want to add my pockets first and then we'll come back to all the other stuff so let me get my little prototype close by so i can see okay so let's start just by adding all the pockets so this is the biggest pocket and i'm going to put it on the back cover here because i always like to have pockets on my covers i don't know why they just it makes me happy like there's where i fussy cut those butterflies out <laughs> I don't know why I like to I like to show you guys that stuff because I do I literally do cut things out <laughs> just like you do you know you gotta sit there and fussy cut okay so I'm gonna stick this on the back here and if you didn't if you didn't catch this covers and pages video I will have it linked up here for you guys in the cards and I'll have it down in the description box so that you can um, go see how to make it. It's really simple. It's just um, the last video where you make the covers and we added, or we made all the pages and added them into the binding. So if you missed that, go check that out. So that's simple as that on there. And then, I'm looking through my, my book here. Okay, so then we're gonna go in here and I believe, this page here gets this little pocket right here at the bottom. So let's add that one. This is my large garbage bowl and not everything in it is garbage. I just have some smaller pieces in there just sitting um, because I was going to use them for like uh, pull tabs, tags, no like for, 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 um, um, <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys, for this, whatever you want to call this, the little pull stringies for tags. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. Okay. Okay, so there's that one. And then... Let's, let's see. Let's skip that. We're going to, whoop, I just bit my page. We're going to skip this page, but I want to put the pocket here, and then we're going to mat it. So, is it this, nope. It's this pocket here. It's going to go down here. that and then let's go ahead and mat it while we're while we're here I'm just gonna use fabric attack and I'm gonna just wiggle it down here. Oh, it didn't even occur to me that 
I'm going to have to have this. Oh, it is a little slightly smaller. Okay. We're good. All right. So then that's matted, ready to go. So cute. I've just got my prototype sitting off to the side here so I can just flip through it real quick. Then on this page, I put this little butterfly pocket facing this way down here in the corner. But you can put these anywhere you want. They, these, all of these pockets, except for that big one, uh, will fit on these pages perfectly. So you can put it down here, up here. You can have it this way. You can put it wherever you want. They all fit the pages perfectly except for the one that fits the cover. So I'm going to stick this here. I like having a little side tucks too. And then that's not a pocket. Okay, so then the next one will be this one. So we'll have to mat it in a sec. And this one's going to be a layered pocket. So we're going to have this pocket here and then we're going to have this one here. So it'll be a pocket and a pocket. So I'm going to add, I'm going to add this pocket actually on top of here first. Okay, so we're going to attach this pocket to there first and then we'll attach the assembled pockets to the page. Okay, I furnished these down really good. Oh, and then I need to mat with the postcard. Let me double check this one. Oh, that's tight. I might have to... I might... Uh, I could probably get it in there. There we go. Just gotta get it in the right spot. I could have cut it shorter, like skinnier, but then I'd have to re-ink everything. <laughs> so, I'm just being lazy. Yeah, the insert, the little envelope from Tanya's collection goes in here, right here. So, is that cut right? I'm just going to go ahead and stick that in there, because I think that's the only thing that goes in that pocket right there, that little pocket. And then, sometimes when you add pockets like that to pages, you just need to go back and burnish the page again, just so it all sits nicely. And then, on the inside, the, uh, the inside cover, I'm going to put this pocket here. I'm going to try to leave the same amount of space all the way around. Like all the way around here. Just so it looks nice. Okay, so let's go back to this one. And I think that one is right here. So this is going to go on the top. So we're going to tuck things into this spot. But I think what I want to do first is maybe show you a little trick. Let me find a piece of, let me get a piece of coffee stained paper. Okay, I've got a couple of sheets here. Where's my paper? Here's my paper. So this is just coffee stained, 20, 20 pound coffee stained paper. Something like that. I think what I'll do I think this might be too skinny, but it's actually perfect. So I'm going to take this 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper, and I'm going to fold it in half. Of course, my battery's getting ready to die. Perfect. Then I'm going to give myself a little more room. 
I'm gonna come up like okay so like this is actually up further past the paper because I want it to be shorter so I'm just kind of using it as a guide and I'm just gonna tear that and then I'm gonna tear this in half right and so it should and it does it should fit right there no problem I should probably change my battery before I don't want you to miss my little trick here let me change my battery okay so what my little trick is hopefully I've got a couple small I need to get me some more paper clips in here so I got a couple little small paper clips they're not too small they're just like an average size paper clip and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on this paper and I think I'm gonna have the long side, you know there's a short side and a long side. I think I'm gonna have the long side, yeah, I'm gonna have the long side on the front part here and then the short side on the back. And I'm going to glue it in like that so that the um, you can tuck things. So like in my prototype here, things come out. Thing, these are not um, glued together. <laughs> I said that and then I can't, there we go. They're not glued together, they all come out. So the only difference is I didn't actually attach my paper clips down, which I should have, so. So anyway, that's what we're gonna do. So there's that, right? And isn't that cute? It's just like a cute little tuck and it holds on to them. You, it, it may not be 100% necessary, but that's what I'm gonna do, so. All right, so I'm gonna attach this down and then I'm gonna glue that down to the page so the this is the only page that's not going to be removable basically is what I'm saying Oops. We got a little tight fit there that's okay where's my little burnisher Let me flip it this away and burnish it just to make sure. Okay, so now first I think I'm gonna do though, I'm gonna take and put some double-sided tape. And this looks like it's about one inch, so I'm just gonna first do this. Like this. And burnish this down. Just like that and then I'm gonna take this tape off and then we're gonna put glue like wet glue on here oh I should have put it on the not ripped side oh well wasn't paying attention and then I'm gonna slide it in here I gotta be careful not to get the glue all over the place. Slide it in here just like that. And then let me, I just wanna tear this bottom. I don't know if I'll be able to. Just so it's not straight. So I'm gonna flip it this way look how tight that is and I'm gonna give it a quick little burnish from this side right so now we can have things we'll fill it up in a little bit but things that's going to be going there so we'll go ahead and have that there this tag here is going to be going in there as well so we'll just go ahead and put that in there for now um, but it's just cute and more we're going to do more paper so like Put this in half. You know, we can put this stuff in here. Right? So we just make layers and layers and layers of this paper. Look good in that. Yep. And it's easy to, to remove. It's easy to insert, easy to remove.
right? And we'll probably end up adding this one as well. So, okay. let me move this paper out of the way. Let's really quick, let's go through and add the inserts that we know that I've already got put together. It's no big deal, we can just, we can just toss it. So this one is, whoops, sorry about that. This one is an envelope from Tanya's paper collection and it actually goes in the back pocket here. So I already put it together, inked it up. There's nothing in it, but that goes there. And then, what else do we have here? Oh, I took the second, even though I didn't use this in a prototype, I took the second envelope that's part of her paper collection, link down below, Purple Dream. Um, and I didn't fold it for the flap to be down. I kind of wanted it to be a pocket. So I don't know what page it's going to go on, but I think, I think it's kind of cute this way. Yeah. I don't know where it's going to go, but... I like it. it. Maybe it could go on the front page here. Oh, and I also attached this with some of that faux uh, transparent vintage tape. Uh, that video, Tanya. Tanya made this video. I'll have the video down below linked if you want to check it out. So I attached this tag thinking that might be fun. I wonder if it'll hold up. You know, so I did that. But maybe I'll stick this here. We'll see. But that's but that was my idea to have this as a attached pocket somewhere. I just need to figure out where I'm going to do it. So I'm going to put this aside for now. And then those are for something else. Let's put that aside for now. All right, so let's go here and let's see what we got. So I need to make the floating tags and stuff. So maybe I should just take one page at a time. You know what I mean? So in this pocket, I have all of these bits and pieces are from Tanya's paper collection, you guys. So uh, be sure to check that out. I think these are pockets for the floating tag. This I have in this pocket here along with some photo mats. And then in this pocket, I have, I have this piece, and then I also have that tall envelope, that tall envelope in here, so I'm going to stick that in here. It's a great place to add some writing, some journaling, you know, you just write down a piece of paper, stuff it in there, easy. And then there's a postcard that goes in here, and I don't know why I thought I had all that stuff out, but I don't guess I do. So this is from the postcards that I just released not too long ago. And is it this size? Yep, it's this size. It's got the little purple stamp on there. So we're going to grab that. And I'll just need to ink it up. So I'll come back and ink that up. And then on this side here, we have... Well, I should have left this out. We have this tag this tag here that's not prepped yet. I'm just going to stick it in there for now. And I put the postage stamp also a new, where, where did I do with them? Also a new release. I could have sworn, oh here it is. I did print them out. I printed off, <laughs> I printed off a who oh, another sheet. So this is the largest size, but I want it to this jumbo. I think this is the largest size. I wanted this jumbo postage stamp. Yes. So I had my brother scan and cut, trim the page out and look at how intricate it did. Look at, look at how real those edges look. Just all crazy. I love it. Okay. So let me move this. I need to clean out my ephemera holder. So that goes in here, and then I need to get the photo mats as well. I'll get that in a second. This needs to get put up. There's my postcard. So is that all I can do right now? Except I am going to get the photo mats. Okay. Let me move those aside. I need to put those up. <laughs> so these are my photo mats essentials. This is uh, number two, photo mats essentials number two. 
and I they're kind of like a Polaroid but they're like a four by six photo will fit on here so and then three by four photos will fit like the four by six landscape will fit there a three by four will fit here so on and so forth so that's what these that's what these are are meant to be oh I also need other photo mats so I'll need a three by four one need one of those and I actually I forgot to I printed these without hitting the special settings that I made so that it wouldn't be so green for whatever reason my printer just wants to print them funny I need what size is that that is what size is this and these are I think this is a I need just a single these are the two by twos two by two squares yeah, these are fun. I like I like using these. I need one of those. I need one of these. This is a three by three. I don't want to keep using that side. Yep, yeah, three by three square. I need one of those. And then, do I need? A, is this the size I need? I need one of these. That's three by four. And that might be all of those I need. And then in the regular photo mats, I think I just need, I need three. So I need one of the three by four. So this is the photo mats essentials, uh, the original, the first one. So I'm going to use, I'm going to fussy cut around the photo corners, the faux photo corners there. So I need one three by four and then I need two four by sixes and I'm using the black. So again, all of this is down in the description box. All of it is linked down below for you to check it out. They're all printable, so they're easy, easy to use. All right, so this page, let's see. This one is going, these two photo mats are going right here on these two blank, white blank pages. So I'm gonna take and stamp four by six on here. Four by six. Oh, at the time of this recording, my stamp set with May May is back in stock. I'll have it linked down below. So if you want to go check it out, hit that link. And um, as, again, at the time of this recording, this is back in stock. So if you've been wanting to get your hands on it, try to get it now. Okay, so I'm going to take and I'm going to stamp four by six. In the middle here, I don't, I'm not real careful about it being perfect because I like the distressed look of it. So, oh, and I need to do a three by four here. Oh, but you know what? <sighs> That's okay. I'll just have to clean it off. So I'm going to take my three by four and stamp it here. Oh, that stamped a lot better, didn't it? <laughs> And then I need to stamp this off somewhere. So I got those ready. And I'm going to take and trim out. You don't have to do this part. You don't have to trim off these this extra white border if you don't want to. I just think it looks kind of neat. I wonder if the Brother Scan and Cut would... would cut those out because when you print this it has a black outline so that you know where to cut so that it'll be the right size for a three by four photo, photo mat I don't know if it would or not have I already told you guys I've really been digging the scanning cut <laughs> it's been fun there's a very much of a learning curve I'm not gonna lie me and technology, you know, we have a love-hate relationship. And some of you know this because you'll contact me with the same love-hate relationship with technology. And I'm like, I know. I, I know exactly how you feel. <laughs> exactly. Okay. So these are going to go. One's going to go here and one's going to go here. And then this little guy is going to go back here 
right there, I think. Yes. So I'm going to glue him down. I'm going to just do the little corners just like if it was a, a photo mat. I mean, a, you know, with the real photo corners. Right there. And then I'm going to add a pretty butterfly there. This, these, the sheet of butterflies is from Tanya's paper collection, The Purple Dream. I think I used a blue and white one. And just to have something here. Just to have a little something, something. I like that. And I'm going to ink it real quick. My scan and cut, cut these out really nicely. I it took the antlers off. I don't, I don't, I don't like to leave the antlers. They're so tiny. They're, whoops, jumper, don't do that. Don't, don't glue the whole thing because you won't be able to slip your photo in there. So, <laughs> I stopped myself. I love these butterflies. I feel like I had another one somewhere that I need to add somewhere. I do. And it's right here. I'm pretty sure. Yep. I want to put this butterfly here, just kind of up a little bit. Kind of hanging over. I just think that looks cute. Too much glue, but that's okay. Just like that. And then the other butterflies I use are the ones fussy cut from the paper. I think. So I'm going to set those aside. And for these. Now all of these, my stamp set's not going to come in handy like these. I need to ink the insides of those. I'm not going to stamp these, but these I am. And so I need to get my 3x4 stamp back out. And I also need... A stamp cleaner. This is the only stamp cleaner I can find. I thought I had something else. It's just, it's a Stamp It Up. I haven't purchased a Stamp It Up in a long time, actually. <laughs> okay. So I'm just cleaning all that brown off because I'm going to use, I'm going to use white ink. So I had ordered two white inks for whatever reason i didn't have distress ink picket fence i thought i had it and i didn't so i ordered this and i ordered the hero arts uh, unicorn pigment ink and i'm pretty sure this is something you have to heat set and if it's not for heat setting i will heat set it anyway so dries permanently and quickly on most papers. It's waterproof for watercolors and markers. Okay. Anyway, so this doesn't really show up on here as well, but this does. So I'm going to use this ink to stamp the three before there. And okay, let's give it a whirl. You guys know I'm not a stamper. I'm not a good stamper. <laughs> I try. But I'm okay with it not being perfect. All right, so look how nice that sets up, or sets up. Look how nice that stands out onto from that, you know, from that black faux vintage scripty Polaroid thing. And I'm not wipe that off again because I don't I don't know if I'm gonna be using the three by four and the brown so I might have to open up another one of my stamp sets and get a, a three by four and a four by six for just white ink so that I don't cross contaminate anything okie dokie that might be a little much but also let's heat set this real quick I don't know if you have to, but I'm going to. Not real familiar with this ink, so. Oh, 
Okay, so then the folded one, oh, no, this one, I thought the folded one went in this pocket, so this one goes in this pocket, and these aren't getting stamped at all, so we're good. This one goes in one of the floating tags. This one goes in the three by three square. Isn't that cute? I love that size. This one goes in here. I will have to come back and ink the inside. Um, yeah. And you know what I was thinking too? I may have to get out my, let me see real quick. A three by four photo will fit on here, you guys. So, that's interesting. So you could just do a three by four here, but I might have to remember how we used to do our, our numbers. We, went, we had the Tim Holtz alphabet, that really worn text one that I like so much. I might have to do three by three if I decide to start stamping that on there. And then the two by two, and there's also a four by four. All right, so that goes in there. And then, and then, and then this one goes in here so yeah I'm gonna have to come back and ink all the stuff that we're adding now and oh, yeah there's nothing in the back okay so back to the three by or four by six page which is right here I'm gonna use my labels. Let me grab this stuff so I don't, I'm not fumbling around so much. All right, so let me grab my labels really quick. <laughs> Squirrel. So these are labels that are available in my Etsy shop. These are the rectangle ones and this is the medium size one in there, I think. It's not the largest, but it's not the smallest either. So I'm gonna use a couple of these. These are purple. So I'm gonna need two. So let's just cut. These are just printed on two. I think this is 28 pound paper, so nothing exciting. These are not printed on. You know what would really be good? The scanning cut could cut these out. <laughs> the next time I print them on sticker paper, I will. I think I might have done that already. What did I do with those? I don't know. I'll have to put those back up. Okay. I am going to trim these out. So I need two of these. I've got the fussy cut butterflies, the two fussy cut butterflies sitting over here from one of the papers I've already cut into. And then I've got one more little Artie Maze. Uh, addition. I'll show you in just a sec. And that is these numbers. Now it's a whole collection of different uh, number, um, what does she call them? I don't remember what she called them. But the ones I'm using are the black and white ones that are part of that collection. There's a whole bunch of different like number sequences and stuff like that. But I love this font and I love that it's black and white. I like adding little touches of black and white. So my scan and cut cut all these out too. So there's like several sheets, but anyway, I'll have it linked down below. But then she also has a freebie in her Facebook group that are the large numbers. So I love these too. I actually uh, asked her if she would, wouldn't mind offering these large numbers. So. Anyway, so thank you, Andrea, for, for doing that. That was amazing. And, um, yeah, these are fun. So it's one through, is it one through nine or one through, one through eight? Or it might be one through nine. Some people include the nine, some people don't, because the six could be um, turned upside down. But anyway, so these would be fun to use in our um, albums as well. I just like the jumbo size of it. Anyway, so there's that. So I'll have those linked. And I just wanted to use like a couple of the sequences of numbers, number sets. Okay. All right. So there's a whole bunch, you guys. I wish I could, I wish I could go through and show you everything, but I wanted to use a smaller size. Like this size, I think is a little too big. 
I didn't want the individuals. Um, oh, I have two 133s. I don't want to use two 133s. These are so cute. Oh, those are too big. Here's a 159. Does it really matter what your numbers are? I don't think so. <laughs> but anyway, so I was just going to use, you know, one of the ones that's like three numbers. Just because I thought it was a cute little addition. So if you could find the right number combination that was significant to your whatever date you're documenting, that'd be cute. So let's do... Let's do 291 and 133. Okay, so I'm gonna, oh! I'm gonna ink, just barely hit these edges, even though you don't really need it, you can't really tell. And then I'm gonna ink my numbers and we'll put it together. Did I ink these? I don't think I need to ink these either, but just in case. It's just a little light inking, nothing major. Okay, so how I got this set up here is I've got one photo mat down here and one photo mat up there. So let's attach those down so they'll quit moving around. Gonna go around the edge. So I'm just get, trying to give you guys some ideas of what you can do in this little small album. A lot of people are calling it a folio. You you can call it whatever you want. And it looks like this page might be slightly crooked. Oh, I see what's happened. <laughs> it will be fine. Okay, and then this one's going to go down here. So also, you guys, I've decided that the new templates that the Simply Magical that I'm bringing out, I'm going to do it the week after Easter. So Easter is this coming weekend. So I'm not going to release it this week. It'll be next week, I think. And I will link the video, I will link the video up here in the cards and down below in the description box of the paper collections that I'm going to use. In the video, I said that I was going to make the prototypes out of those paper collections, but instead I made just the mock-ups and then I kind of finished out with the mock-ups and decided to not make the prototypes, but to actually use those paper collections to uh, make with you guys on video. So I will link that if you want to check that out. I've got links and everything provided for you in that video if you want to see if you can get your hands on any of that. And then, so you're not going to really be able to see much of this and I might just leave it the way it is because what it's going to happen is we're going to have like a butterfly, a label, and a number. So it's not going to be like you're not going to see much. So that's why I didn't go ahead and cover it. So yeah, since this takes a long time to dry, I'm just going to start, I'm going to start just kind of gluing stuff down and tucking that away. It's just easier. So I'm gonna take this bigger butterfly and I'm looking at my prototype to make sure I'm not screwing it up. So you want to leave it loose up here so you can still put your picture there. And then this is going to slide up under there so this is gonna go where does this go right there it's so cute I like to do things in threes and then this is going to tuck between them here like this Isn't that cute? It's just a simple little embellishment cluster, right? But I think it's adorable. Okay. Then the next one up top. So I'm going to put the glue on the top of the butterfly, not the bottom. Isn't that cute? Oh, I think it's adorable. 
just a cute little embellishment cluster. So yeah. Okay. Now what do I want to do? Oh, I'm supposed to have a postcard here too. Where did that postcard go? And what does that postcard look like? Oh, it's this. This one. I'll just use this one. So this is the postcard, the other postcard. So the purple one, wherever I put it, right here. This is the other postcard to that page. So let's stick this in here before we forget that there's something goes in there. I will come back and ink everything up. So I'll stick that there. And what else? Oh, I was going to try to find a place for this, wasn't I? All right. Maybe we'll do one more thing because this video is getting long. So we'll do this tag and then we'll do one more video where well, I'll show you how to do the rest of the embellishing. So let me show you how I did this. The simple, the simple way I did. I think she meant for this to be done just a little bit differently. I don't think she meant for these to be folded into a double-sided tag, but that's what I ended up doing. So I've already done this one, but I'm going to show you how easy it is to do this. So I'm going to take my um, scoreboard here and I'm going to make sure I'm in the right spot and I'm just going to score right down the middle just like this and I'm going to fold it in half burnish it it should be pretty good and then I'm going to glue it together You want to make sure that the glue gets smushed around pretty good because you want to make sure that every bit of it is glued down. And then I'm going to trim off the straight edge over here. It's not really a straight, straight edge, but with my paper trimmer and cut it with my scissors. So, this way it should be perfect, perfectly aligned. And it ends up just looking like a heavy, loose tag. And hopefully I did a pretty good job. If not, it's okay, isn't it? Yep, looks like I did. Okay, so because this is going to be, I'm going to have to attach a pocket to this. I'm going to ink it up. So, this one, the pocket for this one is going to be this blue label from her paper collection. Oh, sorry, you can hear my dog behind me. Sophie, you okay? Sophie. So, you okay? What are you doing looking at the wall? Are you okay? What's the matter? She does not like thunderstorms at all. 
Okay, so I'm gonna make this a pocket. So I'm gonna have to trim it down just ever so slightly. So I'm gonna glue it first and then trim it. That's it for a second, and then this one. Oops, I know what I did. <laughs> the other, when I did my prototype, I did separate them all apart. So I matted the back of each one of these pretty sides with one of the planar sides, but that's okay. We're gonna do it this way anyway. So, so there. Okay, so now I need to, I'm gonna put the pink on this side, like this. Same thing, I'm gonna glue it down three sides. And then we'll trim it off afterwards. Let's see her shaking her. Yeah, so, she, so there was like a booming and banging this morning and she did not like it at all. She did not like it, not happy. Very scared of storms. I can't get this trimmed off. So she's up here right next to me. And she's getting so old. And she's getting cataracts. And she's got a little bit of arthritis. She's a standard poodle. She's a big dog. You guys have seen pictures of her before. Oh well, I didn't trim that very well. She's 13, I think, 13. Are you 13 or 14, Sophie? <laughs> she didn't even look at me when I said her name. She probably can't hear anymore. Okay, so I'm gonna heat that up. So those two pockets are ready to go, and in one of them we've got a, a photo mat. We've got this little dude here, yeah. and we've got one of these. So all of these elements, except for the photo mat, are from Tanya's collection. And then the other one, pretty sure I put this tag, this label, and this um, journaling card insert thingy in there like that. So I need to go through and put some, where does this one go? Hold on, hold please, let me look. Well, I'm sure it went somewhere. Oh, it goes in, it goes into one of the embellishment. So we'll do these embellishment envelopes in another video. I think is what we'll end up doing. So I need to do some tag toppers here, or toppers, some uh, hole reinforcements. All right, let's, let's do the hole reinforcements. I'm just gonna grab one of the ones that are inked with some walnut stain. Just kind of lightly. So these are paper hole reinforcements and they're from Avery. I'll try to link them down below. So I think I want to add a little bit of bling. So I'm going to grab my nonstick sheet and remember these, remember these decorative foil sheets? I think I'm going to use one of these. Maybe I'll just use gold. I don't normally do just gold. So let's see what that looks like. I've also used the new foundry waxes. Have you guys seen these? I'm sure you have seen these. I actually used these in the prototype. Uh, the, I did it on the, not on all of them, but on some of them. Well, I said that and now, oh, is that one? That's kind of one. 
You can barely see it, but I just kind of played around with it a little bit and just kind of scuffed the edges. You can't really see. Well, shoot. Well, I shouldn't even have brought it up then because I can't really even show you a good example. <laughs> oh, so here's one where I did, I used the rose gold boundary wax. So you can't really see it that well, but I'm going to do, I'm going to play around some more with these. I got all four colors of it, but uh, if you have it, you can use that. If you don't have the foils, you can use the foundry wax if you have it. So, all right. So what this is, this is a newer product and it's just like what I used to do with my mink foil. It's the same thing where I do the glue stick and then I press the foil onto it, except this one is actually made for more of this type of application, I think. So it should work better. So I'll have this foil linked down below as well. So what I'm gonna do is take a glue stick, and I don't think it really matters, really honestly, what glue stick you use. I'm just gonna kind of wipe over top of it, and I'm gonna do the whole thing And we'll just use them throughout this whole little project here. Then I'm going to take my foil shiny side up and place it down over top of, look, <laughs> that one's not going to get much, is it? Place it down over top of the whole reinforcements that have the glue on there. And I'm just going to rub gently. I don't know if you have to rub so much with this foil. So this, is, this will give you a really pretty distressed foiling, um, which I love to do. So, let's see how we did here. So I'm going to pull it off. Yeah, it's pretty good. And then I'm going to see if there's any glue. There might not be glue on all the little spaces. So yeah, so I, I might not have got glue. It doesn't feel like it. And you can reuse the sheets over and over and over and over and over again, especially with the distressed foiling look. So keep that in mind. They're pretty affordable too, I think. So now we got those. I could go and do more layers of it to get it to a little bit more covered, but I like it kind of like this. You see how the, there we go. You see the foil on there now? It's a very distressed foiling look. So I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna add them to the top. Grab a hole punch. I'm gonna punch through. Flip it over. Add it to the back and burnish. Right. So there's that one. I might as well do all of the tags that I I need to go through and do all the tags. So if I don't do it on camera, just know that I've done all the tags. So we got those, and I will finish the rest of them off camera. So that's going to be used for something else entirely, so I don't even have, need to have that out right now. So I did, I put this one, oh, sorry silk. I think I'm going to use the sorry silk that I bought. I bought this off of Etsy. I will link it down below. And I got a bunch of colors, and you can get it to where um, it's on these, like, wooden, wooden um, spools. Kind of thing so i bought a bunch of different colors because i've never bought sari silk before and i wanted to try it out so it's pretty cool i don't know much about sari silk either um i think it's recycled uh sari dresses is that right and i'm probably not even saying sorry right so but anyway so i'm going to use that instead of the twine that i was using because i like the color Right, so then I'm just gonna cut, cut it off. So I was thinking about 
doing what I did in my prototype, taking that tape, that faux tape, and adding it as a hinge to this page. I think that would be really cute. Um, looks like I need to decorate this side, doesn't it? So, the video is linked down below, but this, I saw Tanya's video and I thought this was so cute. Such a good idea. I don't think we need a whole big long piece. Well, we might as well. I'm just gonna kind of try to tear it so that it's not a straight edge on the top and the bottom. And just this side, right? Yep. So I'm going to put it on one side. Right? I'm going to burnish it. I'm wondering if you need to reinforce it with like some glue, but we're going to try it and see what happens. I guess I should have asked Tonya. Okay. I know there's, I know other people have made this, this type of tape before, but that's uh, the first video I've seen on it. So, and she mentioned it in a video recently and I thought, I'm gonna try it. I think I used a darker color than she did, or maybe more than one, more than what she used, I think is probably what I did. So mine look a little darker than hers, but I don't mind, that's kinda cool. So we got that, and then I had taken just like a little extra scrap that I had, Oops. right, and just put it on the corner, or up on the top there, just for a little extra something. So there's that one, and that, I'm not going to be able to use that, and then this one is just attached with a paper clip. So I used one of these Tim Holtz, I forget what they're called now. Let me look and see if I can't find the label for the packaging. I'll try to keep all the packaging so that I can show you. And it's possible in one of my cleanups, it somehow got, oh wait, what's this over here? What do we got? Is it tiny clips? Index clips. I think these are called index clips. I'm not sure the packaging, the packaging is probably black and white now, I don't know, but come on camera. So that's these little dudes here. I'm pretty sure that's what those are. So I will link them down below as well. So then this one goes back here on this page. So it's just clipped on here. Like this. Just cute. Just a little something. I think that's where I clipped it. So you have to tell me which one, which method you like better. The sorry silk or the string. Um, oops, I got a, is it, is there a direction? Is there a backwards way to use these? Look, it always leaves little marks too. But I kind of like that. I like the, um, I like it that it looks distressed and used. Um, yeah, all right, squirrel. Okay, so that's all we're gonna do today. That's that's it. So while I'm, you know, between videos, if something needs to have a hole reinforcement on it, I will do that. If something needs to be inked, I will do that. And then other than that, we will do the envelopes and the, we'll add some more ephemera into here and we will do the postcard loose floating pocket in the that goes in the back we'll do that in the next video and then i'll try to figure out where i want to put this as well okay all right well the decision has been made <laughs> i put it there so now i'm gonna to have to find uh, some inserts to go in there maybe you know what i mean we'll see all right so that's what I'm going to, I'm going to do that. I'm going to finish, uh, finish up what we've already done in here. And then in the next video, we'll make all the other final, uh, inserts, the envelope inserts and whatnot. 
Okay, you guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Be sure to check out the description box down below. All the links are down there. Be sure that you are a subscriber to my channel and turn the bell notification on and give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and if you're enjoying this little, um, this little project, this little mini uh, special little sister edition project. Let me know what you're thinking. Um, leave me a comment, all that jazz. Anyway, all right, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.